Hi, it's Sarah. I'm the owner of Watermark Books and Cafe, and you're watching Book Broadcast. Julia Alvarez has written her first adult novel in years. It's called Afterlife, a novel. This is a beautiful, graceful, amusing, gorgeous book about how we cope with love and loss. Familial love, uh, um, domestic love, and spousal love. And the, the, one of the things I loved about this novel was that the character was an English teacher. She's now alone, her husband's died. But one of the ways she's coped is through literature, through phrases, through poetry. Defi being able to articulate a feeling or a situation that she's in. And you can't help but love that, especially as a reader. Julia Alvarez, Afterlife, beautiful, don't miss it. You know Hilary Mantel's Thomas Cromwell trilogy from number one, Wolf Hall. It's 1530. Henry VIII is pining to marry Anne Boleyn, among other things. The second novel, Bringing Up the Bodies, is shorter. Henry VIII is married to Anne Boleyn, but he's disenchanted. And so what choice does he have but to behead her? So in the mirror and the light, this becomes Thomas Cromwell's novel. It, it wraps up his life. He's been a suitor to the king. He has no family to defend him. Anne Boleyn has just been beheaded. There's no better time to read them but now. My next book is called Deacon King Kong. It opens with a shooting. And Deacon shoots a 17-year-old drug dealer. And the rest of the novel is trying to unravel all the things that have happened up to that point to understand why something so uncharacteristic of Deacon happened and why the kid. All I can say is that this novel is about a community and you will see yourself in it, you'll see others in it, but along the way you will be so captivated by the writing and the alliteration that you'll just be charmed and charmed and charmed over and over again with every page.